Welcome back to this episode of Data Science at Home podcast. Today we are diving into probably one of the most transformative but controversial applications of artificial intelligence. I'm uh, speaking about the role of AI in uh, defense and military operations. We all know, especially from the news of the last three years, that the world of defense is evolving rapidly. And artificial intelligence is indeed at the forefront of this new generation of warfare. I want to make sure that everybody understands that today I'm taking the path of the uh, engineering challenges that such a field would raise and not necessarily the ethical concerns, even though uh, that's something that I will uh, definitely raise in the conclusions of this episode. As nations race to modernize their military capabilities, artificial intelligence is becoming, as a matter of fact, the strategic advantage that could, and in my opinion will, redefine global power dynamics. From autonomous drones patrolling the skies to predictive analytics anticipating cyber attacks, artificial intelligence technologies are, as a matter of fact, revolutionizing how defense strategies are planned and, of course, executed. But with great power comes great responsibility, as they say, right? So the integration of AI in the military systems obviously raises ethical concerns, challenges in accountability, uh, and of course many questions about international regulation. So these are probably the things that, regardless of the technology, someone has to tackle with uh, immediately. Today we'll explore the cutting-edge technologies that are shaping the future of defense, the opportunities they bring, and of course the potential risks they involve. So let's unpack some of the key AI applications that are already making waves in the defense industry. I'm going to speak about a definitely a non-exhaustive list, uh, and I'm going to start from autonomous vehicles because this is the most common type of vehicle that uh, is actually considered for uh, new generation warfare. So we have, of course, drones and uh, so-called unmanned aerial vehicles, also called UAE, uh, UAVs, um, these are essentially AI-powered drones that are capable of executing complex missions from reconnaissance to targeted strikes with minimal or no human intervention at all. For example, the US military's MQ-9 Reaper drone can autonomously track and engage targets, uh, which is something that from an engineering perspective is extremely challenging and extremely interesting, I should say. Of course, there are also autonomous ground vehicles, you know, new generation tanks, as well as, in general, uh, four-wheeled vehicles. And um, these vehicles are used for usually transporting supplies, uh, clearing mines, and uh, even conducting surveillance in hostile environments. Then we have surveillance and reconnaissance. This is another uh, type of technology uh, that is definitely common in, uh, uh, in the military and defense applications. Uh, AI enhanced systems that analyze massive amounts of satellite imagery, video feeds, and of course sensor data to detect threats or unusual activity in uh, near real time. Here I have to mention tools like Project Maven that leverage uh, machine learning to identify objects of interest in drone footage. Then we have cyber defense. This is probably the first of the uh, so-called old-school uh, type of defense. Um, AI algorithms here monitor and predict cyber attacks by analyzing patterns in network traffic and detecting anomalies. Uh, here I have to mention systems like uh, Dark Trace that use AI to create a dynamic understanding of an organization's digital footprint, enabling proactive threat detection. Then we have predictive analytics the old school data science uh, a few years ago. Uh, today, this technology and these methods are used by military strategists um, who actually use AI-driven analytics to forecast enemy movements, uh, supply chain disruptions, and pretty much any general of uh, geopolitical shifts. For example, AI models can simulate war scenarios to optimize technical decisions. Uh, many times the type of simulations I'm referring uh, to uh, do, do not require physics simulations, you know, pretty much like in a video game. These are types of simulations that are more about behaviors 
or the most rational decisions that the enemy can take in a particular situation. Something that is very close to uh, a fascinating field uh, of research, which is game theory, that essentially is the study of the uh, most rational decisions that one can take in a, in a game. Uh, which indeed, uh, as the warfare, can be considered a game because there is um, there are two or more players uh, contending something or uh, reaching a, a goal or an objective, uh, and of course contrasting each other. Uh, then we have electronic warfare. Um, AI is enhancing electronic warfare capabilities by automating the detection and jamming of enemy communication signals radar systems and other electronic equipment. This is the old good computer security field just applied to more specific scenarios like defense and military. Then we have decision support systems, uh, you know, the old good uh, machine learning and data science combination uh, some years ago. Uh, in this particular case, advanced AI tools assist commanders in making data-driven decisions during high-pressure situations. And by integrating data from multiple sources, or as they call it, sensor fusion, that we have, by the way, covered a number of times on this show, uh, these systems provide actionable insights and scenario-based recommendations. We have seen the, exactly the same methodologies in um, business intelligence, for example. And these are uh, very mature uh, methods uh, that people know very, very well. Then we have biometric and behavioral analysis. Uh, here, AI technologies are used for identifying potential threats by analyzing facial expressions, gait, and other biometric markers. This is especially useful for, uh, for example, uh, counterterrorism operations and securing high-risk zones. Then, as already mentioned, we have training and simulation. Simulation and simulators play a very important role when it comes to um, defense and military applications. Here, AI-driven virtual environments provide very realistic training scenarios for soldiers, enabling them to prepare for complex battlefield conditions without, of course, the risks of uh, live exercises. As you might understand, live exercises are usually have to be avoided as much as you can because they are not only extremely dangerous, but also extremely expensive and time consuming. So simulators powered by AI can in fact adapt scenarios based on, for example, trainee performance and many other variables, and they are playing a fundamental role in this particular um, situation. And uh, finally, of course, logistics and supply chain optimization. These are the things that we are very much used to, uh, you know, methodologies from the past, uh, you know, just repurposed as uh, it usually happens. AI systems streamline military logistics by optimizing routes, predicting maintenance needs, um, managing inventory in real time, and so on and so forth. This ensures timely delivery of uh, the critical supplies uh, to the battlefield. Now, these, of course, are all uh, technologies and methodologies that I just mentioned, but there are, uh, in fact, examples in the real world, real world examples that implement uh, part of these technologies and more. Of course, the more is the stuff that we uh, usually do not read about because uh, these are extremely classified information. Uh, the most recent example that I have in mind um, is definitely uh, Israel's Iron Dome. Uh, this missile defense system uses AI to track and intercept incoming projectiles uh, with really extraordinary precision. Though we have seen on the news that how sometimes, you know, this system can be violated with an excessive amount of projectiles. Um, but I think that that's more a technological barrier or limitation rather than a conceptual one. Um, the combination of AI, machine learning, data science and predictive analytics uh, is absolutely extraordinary uh, when it comes to um, Iron Dome's capabilities. Another one worth mentioning is the DARPA's Alpha Dogfight. Uh, this is one of my favorite. Um, it's an AI-powered system uh, developed by the DARPA. Uh, DARPA stands for, of course, Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Uh, and these systems successfully outperformed human pilots in simulated dogfights. Extremely interesting. If you are an engineer like myself, 
you would absolutely be fascinated by uh, such a system. Of course, China is uh, uh, also on the forefront and uh, China's AI-powered surveillance. Uh, we know that the Chinese military uh, is leveraging AI for surveillance and uh, facial recognition, but they are doing that on a massive scale, raising, of course, global concerns about privacy, ethics, and many other issues that uh, communities should be aware of. Uh, last but not least, uh, Russia's combat robots these are systems like the, for example, the Euro 9 combat robot that are equipped with AI uh, technology to operate in hazardous combat zones, of course, trying to reduce the risks to uh, human soldiers. Now, of course, in uh, this episode, I want to tackle with the ethical and strategic considerations because, as I said, this is technology that is extremely interesting if you are an engineer, but if you are not an engineer and majority of the population fortunately or unfortunately, they are not engineers. Uh, there are several uh, considerations that especially governments should take into account. Because uh, in my opinion, you know, the potential of AI in defense is undeniable. This is a fact that we all have to deal with and it's going to get worse or better uh, depending on how you are uh, looking at it. But um, it also comes with significant ethical dilemmas. Uh, for example, accountability, for example, escalation risks uh, or international regulations. These are all uh, problems and issues that governments should be tackling with. Uh, for example, accountability. Uh, who is responsible if an autonomous weapon system malfunctions and causes unintended casualties, right? Um, escalation risks. The use of AI in warfare, yes, could definitely lower the threshold for conflict, sometimes even using these technologies as a deterrent, uh, but the problem is that automated systems, um, yes, they do good in terms of reducing or eliminating, hopefully, the human cost of war. But in my opinion, lower barrier for escalation are behind the corner because when things get cheaper, more affordable and more available, uh, you know, the barrier to escalate a conflict because you have the tools, uh, in my opinion, would be easier or could be easier. And finally, there is international regulation. There is an urgent need for global frameworks to govern the development and use of AI in military applications in order to prevent misuse and, of course, ensure accountability. Now, these are at least some of the concerns that one should raise whenever we think of artificial intelligence in defense and military operations. And this is also something that I have been speaking a lot on this show. For example, what happens when... Uh, uh, AI or machine learning, the more traditional machine learning systems, are left to control critical scenarios in half or full autonomy. We are not talking about autonomous cars, even though this can be also very dangerous when there are uh, malfunctions in the algorithms. But what happens when you have such a system on uh, a, a, a rocket battery or, you know, weapons? So these are the problems that I want to raise with this episode. And of course, giving a list, again, not an exhaustive list of the mm, possibilities, the technological possibilities that one has access to today. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to raise. Now, AI is reshaping the defense landscape in profound ways, right? It offers unprecedented capabilities to enhance national security, to reduce risks to personnel, soldiers, commanders, etc., and also civilian uh, civilians. And of course, improve also decision making in very complex scenarios and very dynamic scenarios such as battlefields. But the rapid pace of development also requires, in my opinion, a thoughtful approach to address the ethical, strategic and regulatory challenges that it poses. So in this episode, of course, we have barely scratched the surface of this complex topic, and I'm gonna give some more space to this topic, which uh, I do care about, uh, inviting some of the best uh, players, uh, strategic players uh, in um, uh, global warfare, warfare. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts and questions. So let's continue the conversation about how AI is transforming not just defense, but the very nature of conflict and security in the world in the 21st century. 
Thank you for tuning in to Data Science at Home podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe, share, and leave us a review. Always appreciate it. Until next time.